Did you want to kind of talk about a little bit um, about Gal Gadot and her Wonder Woman? We never really talked about her casting at all. Is it Gadot or is it Gadot? I don't even know. It's like Gadot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't or know. I don't Gal Gadot. Know. I, that's how I'm going to pronounce it I, I think, I throughout think that this whole podcast. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> you think it's Gadot? I think it's Gadot. I think that's, I don't know. I like that better. I think I I've heard. Who knows? I, she's kind of a, she hasn't been in anything before, has she? Yeah, she was in the uh, Fast and the Furious. I think oh, it's one yeah, of the new yeah, ones. Yeah. Um, but well, she hasn't I've really never seen all of the Fast and the Furiouses. Oh well, she's never had like a like a major you know role herself. But she's been in a, a couple side projects. But uh, anyway, what do you think of the casting? Well, I mean, because I've never seen any of her previous works, I'm I don't really know what to think. But uh, in I terms think... of how she looks. You've okay. seen pictures of her, right? No, I've seen pictures of her, and a lot of people are just like, oh, this girl's a freaking twig. We can snap her in half kind of argument. I was like, dude, come on. All right, come on. Let's be real here. Like, anybody can work out for however many straight months and, you know, look Wonder Woman worthy in a matter of months. You know, I mean, they have people around them to do this, you know, to help them out and do this with them. So I don't think that's a very valid argument. Do you know who uh, Gina Carano is? Yes. Um, yeah, like if it were me, like I actually want to do an episode or dedicated entirely to um, casting the Justice League, you know, our own decisions. And I would have chose her. But um, this is, I just can't stand people overreacting over, you know, casting decisions like this. And especially because well, she's, she happens to be skinny right now. But what? This movie's like two years away. Yeah, like, I know. They act like she can't. In two years, I could play Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't. You never know. Uh, I don't think so. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, I could. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I just don't like you know the Heath Ledger overreaction. The everyone's just got their panties in a fucking Ben Affleck overreaction. It's just ridiculous. Like, give the girl a chance. She's very pretty. Let's talk about it after the movie. After we see what she looks like in um, Wonder Woman attire. After we she after we see what she does in the movie. So. Um, I'd say give her a chance. I mean, I think I saw, I posted a picture recently on my, um, Instagram of her, like, it's like a manipulation of her and it has her in like the tiara and the star spangle and whatever get up. And she looked pretty good. I thought she looked pretty good in it. But if, um, you know, my choice would be Gina Carano, but just because she, you know, it's too, it's funny. Cause in this movie that we're about to review wonder woman, her body isn't, yeah, crazy. She doesn't look, you know, Amazonian big. She's kind of like a thin, slender. You can tell maybe she does CrossFit. We but don't. I mean, she looks like a regular girl. We don't need like China from the WWE type of woman to yeah. be Wonder Woman. Um, and in the film, like my, um, like Karina just said, she yeah, she has like the, her arms are not big and bulky. Like she's slender, she's skinny, she's attractive, but she's powerful at the same time. Like Wonder Woman gets her power from being an Amazon on Earth. Like, you don't, and she's supposed to be the uh, the physical, you know, perfect. Perfection. Yeah, in terms, when it comes to women. But, um. Yeah, she, like you said, we're not looking for China here. Yeah, we, <laughs> do we really want. <laughs> There's a lot of versions of Wonder Woman where she's, like, sort of beefed up, but still sort of feminine. But, I mean, either way, I feel like she could be represented in either way. Even in the JLA cartoon, um, she wasn't super beefed up. You know, she just got, she just looks like a. In the, um, the. The DC. the DC universe um, online game. She's huge. <laughs> Is she remember? really? Yeah, the trailer. She's huge. Oh. Or even in um, um, Injustice, she's really big. She's you. You can see like every muscle in her body. <laughs> but I think I don't think it matters to me. All right. Well, you want to go ahead and get into the review? Sure. Okay. And here we go. All right, so let's start off. Wonder Woman. We start as the Amazons are going to war with Hades. Not Hades, sorry. Ares and his army. And it's actually really cool. Some of the some well-known actors actually voice a couple of characters in this movie. Like we have James Woods as Ares. I think Rosario Dawson's in it too, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you like James Wood as Ares? I did. Although every time... Ares- <laughs> 